Barbados is located on the North American continent. It is the easternmost island of the Caribbean islands and part of the Lesser Antilles. In this video, we will explore the different aspects of Barbados. Barbados is located between northeast of Venezuela and southeast of Miami. The island is 21 miles long and 14 miles wide. The islands of Barbados is bordered with coral reefs. The island itself is characterized by lowlands. It is separated by rolling hills that generally parallel the coasts. Elevations in the interior range from 180 to 240 meters above sea level. Mount Hillaby is the highest point at 340 meters above sea level. The west and south coast areas are densely populated with hotels, residential and commercial areas. The east coast is very dangerous and swimming is forbidden on many of its beaches. Barbados weather is generally warm and sunny all year round. The wet season runs from June to December and the dry season from January to May. Summers are hot, humid, and wet. The average high temperatures touch 31.1 degrees Celsius at the peak of June. Winters are relatively dry, with the average low temperatures below 21.1 degrees Celsius in January. The worst time to visit Barbados is during June to September. That time, the sunshine is heavy. The best time to visit Barbados is from January to April in the mild winter season. The culture of Barbados is a blend of West African and British cultures present in Barbados. English is the official language of the nation, reflecting centuries of British influence. The local people are generally friendly and have a love for good parties, music, dancing and food. Visitors will be able to experience the vibrant island vibe through the many festivals and shows. The annual crop over festival in the best place to see the carnival. Arts and culture on the island of Barbados is very much alive. Barbados is one of the most developed countries in the Eastern Caribbean. 
it enjoys one of the highest per capita incomes in the region. Historically, the Barbadian economy was dependent on sugar cane cultivation and related activities. However, in recent years, the economy has diversified into light industry and tourism. It generates one of the Caribbean's highest per capita incomes. Tourism has rebounded, but serious challenges to medium-term economic growth remain.